Hey there, I'm Sarah from Great Days by Sarah, and today I have for us a detoxing yoga flow. Great for the holiday season when we indulge a little bit too much. This is an awesome way to start the next day. We're going to bring ourselves down into a seat. Sitting cross-legged, whatever feels good for you. We're going to simply inhale our arms down around and up, closing your eyes if you feel comfortable, hands come at the top, and then hands come down to heart center. We'll just ground ourselves for a moment. Thank yourself for showing up and taking the time to do this. Keep in mind this is a short practice. So try to block out everything you can for the next 15 minutes. Plant your hands to the ground. Press your hands so hard into the ground, maybe your hips even lift off slightly. Not maybe completely off the ground, but you can just feel them engage. Roll your shoulders down and back and then lift up your right arm and reach it over the top. Stay here and breathe. You can move your other hand out, elbow can be on the ground. Grounding down through your right hip as your right hand reaches high. And then come back up to the top. We'll reset with pressing our hands into the ground, feeling our hips engage. Feeling that pelvic floor contract, and then relax it down, reach it over the top. Left arm comes high, left hip stays down, and then we open our chest towards the front and breathe. Back up towards center. You'll take that same hand, place it behind you. So left hand behind you, right hand on your knee. This is the super softest, gentlest twist that you can ever imagine. Just tearing off about 45 degrees behind your body. More of the emphasis is on a long spine and preparing it for a twist that we're gonna have today. simply let it go gently and replace it on the other side. Right hand's behind, left hand grabs the knee gently, and then once again sitting up tall like you have a string coming out of your head, and exhale, twist gently. Excellent, let it go. Find your way into a tabletop preparing for a couple series of cat-cow. Inhale towards the sky, tail goes up. Exhale, tuck your chin, round everything out, squeeze your thighs together. One more like that, nice and slow, long breath. Connecting with your ujjayi breath in through your nose, out through your nose, feels good, please do so. And then find yourself back to neutral. Put your right hand behind your ear. Reach up to open, exhale, close. Your elbow goes towards your wrist, maybe it even connects. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhale, open. This time, exhale, close, we're gonna thread the needle. Right arm comes under, right ear drops down. Left arm can reach out straight, it can kickstand, or if you're ready for something a little deeper, reach it up around towards your right hip, maybe even hooks in that crease of your right thigh. Unwind from wherever you came from and back up, find neutral, one cat cow, reset the spine. Then left hand goes behind your left ear slightly, lift it up, open up your chest, open up your shoulder, Exhale, knee towards your elbow. Really, knee towards your elbow, elbow towards your wrist. <laughs> Inhale up, and holiday brain over here. Reach it, elbow towards wrist, maybe it connects. Inhale up, this time thread the needle underneath. Reach it through left, ear drops, left shoulder drops, and then treat each side as an individual. This side might not be okay for the bind, but feel it out. Do you reach it out in front? Do you reach it up over the top? And 
and then wherever you are, bring it back, one cat cow. Tuck your toes under, we'll meet back in a downward facing dog. So hips go high, upside down letter V with your body, pedal out your feet, maybe shift your heels one direction and then the other. Do your little down dog dance and then make your way into stillness. We're gonna take it through three half vinyasas. So inhale forward, adjust as needed. Exhale, chaturanga, or come all the way down for this first one. For cobra, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two more, your version, your pace. We inhale forward, chaturanga, or cobra. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more, flow on your own. We'll be all back in downward facing dog. We'll inhale, gaze between our hands and then crisscross your feet. So the left foot goes kind of to the right, maybe it goes past the right foot. Right foot crossing over the left. Finding that crisscross as many times as you can until you get to the top of your space and we find ragdoll. So ragdoll, feet are wide, knees can be as bent as you need to. The bowl relax to your upper body. You can interlace your fingers on your elbows or let your hands hang heavy on the floor. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. And then if your hands are on your elbows, release them to the floor. Heel to your feet together. Plant your left hand down or on an object like a block and twist up. So my left knee will bend, my right leg goes straight. If I'm on a block, all that does is bring the floor to me. And you can use a toy, you can use a block, you can use a book. And another way, bend the right knee. Right hand plants, left leg goes straight, left arm reaches up tall. And then refold, this time halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, fold. You can reverse your swan dive or roll up one vertebrae at a time. Fix your feet if you need to. We did Samasthiti, grounding pose, relax your eyes, relax your face. We'll inhale, arms up to a T. Exhale, twist to the right. Hips don't move, just upper body. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Inhale, center, this time you reach up. Exhale, at a back bend, maybe even cactus your arms. To open up your chest, open up your heart center. We stand tall and we fold over. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back and then drop your back knee. Untuck your back toe, slowly walk your hands up, and find this Anjani Asana lunge first. Pulling that right hip back, left hip forward, tuck your tailbone under so your, your abdominals need to engage. And then hands come to heart center, and link your left tricep on the outside of your leg. If that's not accessible for you, simply twist towards the bent leg. Now you can stay here at any variation if you'd like a little bit more. Tuck your back toe. Finding this revolved crescent. Pressing hands together. I'm gonna drop my back knee because I can feel the twist much deeper if I twist here. Excellent. Rise up, no matter where you are, 
into this arm straight twist like we did from our feet, but this time we're from our knees, or you are in that twisted crescent, which is acceptable as well. And then no matter where you are, you'll drop your back hand down your leg and reach it back. You can do this from your toe as well. I will not today. My hamstring is still recovering. I'm not gonna push it. So it's your twisting and reaching back. Then simply unwind, plant it down. You're gonna step that right foot back and then reach your left one forward. So you can, of course, take a vinyasa if you'd like to, but we're just gonna switch sides today. The emphasis is on detox. Find the Anjaniyasana lunge on the other side. Then we bring our hands to heart center. Before we twist, drive that left hip back, right hip forward, tuck your tailbone under, feel that engagement. And then this time your right tricep outside of your knee. Finding the twist here, the connection's not there for you. Finding the twist up top or finding the twist and lifting the back heel, pressing up for a more challenging posture. But your goal here, remember, is that twist. So every inhale lengthens your spine. Every exhale, press your hands together and twist a little deeper. And then we'll extend the arms, pause, and then revolve all the way back. Sorry, reverse and revolve. Reaching that left hand down your leg, maybe even towards your heel you have that flexibility. And then we'll spin it forward, step it back. This time, let's take a vinyasa. All the way up and all the way down. Downward facing dog. Lower down onto your knees. We're gonna find cow face. Pose. So I'm going to have my right leg on the bottom, my left leg on top, lining up my knees the best of my ability. Maybe rock onto your knees so you can move that excess material outside your glutes and then move your heels away from your body. And for some of us staying here, fine. This you feel through your hips. If you have a big space here and you want to put a blanket or a towel here to cushion it, you may. It helps, especially if you have tight hips. Okay, so my left knee's on top. So I'm gonna reach my right arm up and over. My left one, or my right, left arm up and over, my right one under, trying to clasp my hands in the back, reaching for my shirt, my towel, anything you have. And then finally, last but not least, if you still want more, tilt it forward. If it becomes too much with the arms, release your arms. That's where we'll meet anyways in a moment. If you have your arms clasped, let's release them, press them in front, fall into it. If you can relax the back of your neck in any way, shape or form, please do so. And then to slowly come up, we're gonna just tip back on your hips and switch your legs. Left leg under, right leg over. Set it up first. I like to kind of come forward on my knees so I can move that extra flesh out and then move your feet away from you slightly. Finding the length in your spine. One side probably feels a little bit better than the other and that's okay. Stay here if you'd like to add the arms. Right arm lifts, reaches back, left arm reaches under. This one's definitely my more stiff side, so I'm gonna reach for as far as I possibly can, down my shirt, and clap, and then try to collapse, collapse. <laughs> Grasp that, and then reach my left fingertips as close as I can to my right before I tip forward. Honoring what feels good in your body. and then release your arms, place them in front of you. Find your deepest expression of this fold. And 
and then slowly walk it up. We're gonna untangle, find yourself into a comfortable seat right where we started. We'll inhale up, exhale, left hand reaches behind, right hand reaches across your knee. This time we are going for range of motion, maybe even looking over the back shoulder. Now that we are warm and twisted, One more big breath. And simply reverse it. Right arm is behind, left reaching towards this knee. Sit up tall and twist. With your exhale, you can twist a little bit further. And release. Last inhale together. Exhale, hands come center. Bring your thumbs to the space between your eyebrows, our sight of our third eye, and our place of awesome intuition. And we all say, Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me in that detoxing yoga flow today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you thought, and I'll see you next week for our next one. Have a great day.